Scientific notation is used to compare the magnitude of very large and very small numbers. The distance to Mars is a very large number. The size of a hydrogen atom is very small. It is difficult to compare the magnitude of numbers when there are so many digits. Before we start talking about scientific notation, let's review the powers of 10. 10 to the first power is equal to 10. 10 to the second power is 10 times 10, which is 100. 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10, or 1,000, and so on. In the negative direction, 10 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 10, or 0.1. 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 10 times 10, or 0 0.01, and so on in that direction. As the power of 10 increases, the decimal is moved to the right. As the power of 10 decreases, the decimal is moved to the left. Scientific notation is a very specific way of representing a number. The first number is a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. This number is usually written correct to two decimal places. The second factor is a power of 10, either a positive power or a negative power of 10. Let's look at a couple of examples. 210 is equal to 2.1 times 100. Note that our first factor is a number between 1 and 10. 100 is 10 to the second power. So 210 is equal to 2.1 times 10 to the second in scientific notation. Let's look at point zero zero three four five nine. First we need to write a number between 1 and 10. 3.46 Note that we've rounded this to two decimal places. This would be 3.46 times 0 .001. 0 .001. 0 .001 is 1 over 1,000, which would be 10 to the negative 3. So 0 .003459 is 3.46 times 10 to the negative 3. Now that you understand scientific notation, let's look at a quick way of making sure that we always have the correct value for the power of 10. The first factor is 4.32. Now we have to determine the power of 10. Start by locating where you have placed the decimal. We're going to count the number of places that we need to move the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the power of 10 must be 8. Now for a small number. Our process is the same. Our number between 1 and 10 is 3.2. Start by locating where you have placed the decimal. We're going to count the number of places that we need to move it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Since we've moved in a negative direction, the exponent must be negative 7. 